This tutorial will give you an overview on how to use Office 365 at AITE. To begin, go to the Logins tab on our website, aitestanford.org, and choose Office 365. A new window will open for the Office 365 portal. Enter your student ID number at aitestanford.org. Then, enter your password that you use to log onto your computer. Then, click Sign In. You will then be given your dashboard. On your dashboard will be a bunch of tiles that you can use throughout your experience at AITE. These tiles are known as online apps. Some of the services include OneNote, Email, Calendar, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneDrive, and many more. Take a look around and see what you can do with these different apps. Within the Mail tool, you will find your school-provided email. You are expected to check it on a daily basis for announcements from the school or from your teachers. The first time you open up the mail tile, you will be asked to confirm your language and time zone, and click Save. Your inbox will appear here. On your school-issued laptop, you also have a full version of Microsoft Outlook loaded on your computer. You can open that app on your computer, go through the wizard, and it'll automatically add your AITE email to Outlook. Thus, you don't need to log into the Office 365 portal every day. You can simply open the Outlook app. Let's close Mail and go to some of the other features. With Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, I can work on Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint presentations, and other documents related to my coursework. The web version of Microsoft Word functions just about the same as Microsoft Word that's installed on your computer. It may be missing a few settings and features that you're used to, but in general, the system will work exactly the same. You can then go and save the document online on your OneDrive if you wish. If I'm working on this document with a fellow student, I can share the document with them by clicking on the link in the top right corner. Let's now go look at OneDrive. OneDrive is your personal cloud-based storage that gives you up to one terabyte of storage with Microsoft. Think of this as your possible replacement to your H drive. The H drive is only accessible when you're at school, but the OneDrive is accessible anywhere where you have internet access. The first time you click on OneDrive, you may be asked to set it up. To do so, click on Next. Here, you will see the two documents that I worked on in Microsoft Word. I can drag and drop files if I wish, or create folders. To create folders, I click on New and Folder. It also gives you the option to create other documents from OneDrive directly. Once my folder is created, I can, if I wish, drag and drop documents into the folders. OneDrive also has a sync client that can download local copies of documents onto your computer directly. You'll get more information from the IT department if that feature becomes available. Just like within Microsoft Word, you can share documents and folders with fellow students and teachers. To do so, choose the document or folder, click on the three dots, and choose Share. Enter their email address and click Share. Take some time again to look around Office 365 and test out some of the features that we provide. One last thing. While you're a student at AITE, we provide you a free copy of Office 2016 through Office 365. On the portal, you can click the link in the top right corner. You can download this to up to four personal devices if you choose. Once you leave AITE or graduate, the license expires and you will need to purchase your own or if you're continuing on to higher education, 
check with your school's IT department to see if they offer Office 365, and you can continue your license there accordingly. If you have any questions or issues, please contact the Office 365 support team at 365help at aitestanford.org. If you have problems logging in, please see Mr. Priolo in the Media Center as he can reset passwords. Thank you.